Okay, guys. It's okay, guys. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, guys. It's okay, guys. Today is another day, but today is going to be a power day for salad. Since the COVID-19 quarantine, we have been shut in for, what, I would say two months, and we have packed on so much weight. We're going on a salad binge to see if we can get rid of this weight. Now that this terrible plague is almost over and most places are opening, we are just too chubby to go out there. And so we're going to take matters in our own hands. And so today we are going to be doing a whole series, starting today, we're going to be doing a whole series of salads. Salad of every description and type. So we may not be doing a lot of meat-based dishes, but we'll be doing a lot of um, salad, vegetable, vegan base, if we can consider it that way. Some of them will be mixed, some of them will be strictly vegan, some of them will be meat based, but we're going to be putting our full thrust into salad. So guys, let's go. Okay, so in here, we're going to power wash our salad because of time, they are not as fresh. I do the want and to be a pretty good part of what's done. And we have to be gentle. We're going to use some vinegar. We're going to pour some vinegar in. Take off those large bits of onion. We're going to put some salt in. We're going to make sure our veggies are clean. And we're just going to use ordinary cooking salt. I'm just going to pour that in and over the dark powder to make sure they are clean and any bugs that on them is dry. And this water is gentle, gentle spray, guys. Gentle spray. Alright, so. Now, after we gentle spray them, we're going to separate them. We are left with that. We are left with that. So we have sorted through and we, we are still going to go through just in case there are other things in there that needs that need to be taken out. So before we start our vegetables, that's how we power wash and sort through and extract things that are not supposed to be there. Alright, so we are ready to begin. And here we're going to dunk the veggies in ice cold water to make them crispy and delicious. If you have a vegetable spinner, then you don't have to dry them. You can just spin them dry. But they're just about done. And this is just a clean piece of bounty napkin. Fresh, clean piece of bounty napkin. Now we're going to chop the vegetables. If you don't extract the water, then your veggies are going to be so saggy. You really don't want that.
Come here, Blanche and Ray. Asparagus for a quick two seconds and then we're done. Okay guys, so we're just about ready to make the dressing to go with this here salad. It's going to be bomb.com.
Okay guys, so we're just about done. And we're just going to just plate this and then we're finished. We're ready to eat. Let's go. Yeah, with all the roasted asparagus and the tiny taste of the lemon and the, the mustard. It is just out of this world beautiful. We are just so ready to eat. So yeah guys, this is Meg on behalf of my sister Min. We just want to thank you so much for stopping in to um, help us prepare this dish. We're just out of this world happy to present these dishes. And um, again, as we told you guys, we're scaling away from the meat based and we're, more, we're gravitating more to the plant based dishes. And so we want to thank you guys for stopping by and for the subscriptions and for the thumbs up the comments we can see those picking up and um, we're definitely going to be back with another dish um, I'm going to be doing a burger just now um, after this I think for dinner I'm going to do a burger so I want you guys to come and join us on that journey also but again we just want to thank you we're still in our covid in the covid night not our in covid 19 crisis cooking and um as the days dwindled by the days dwindled by we want to come and share whatever we can find and give you guys inspiration not all the time we're going to be here there's some days when we just don't um not feeling to cook or we don't have what to cook or more so we don't want to be bothered with the supermarket and the, the people that are not observing you know um, their distance and all of that so there's some so many crises so many situations 